I am over it actually. <laughs> I feel very proud to say that. I'm happy that I didn't spend the money to get one. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanrell. I am super excited because today I'm going to be actually doing a tag video. There's so many tags that go around that I get excited for and then realize that at least in my mind that I can't really do the tags because I don't have Alex drawers full of makeup. I never feel like I have quite enough of a collection to do a lot of the tags, but this tag I can do. So this tag was started by Mandy Lee and Sarah Hubler, and I have also seen It's Just Steph do this video. So I will of course link them down below along with the questions. And this is something they've invited everyone to go ahead and do. So if you have a channel or a blog or an Instagram and you'd like to answer the questions, feel free to join in. So this tag is all about the makeup that is on your wish list. Now, usually my wish lists are, it's all mental. I keep like a, a log of the things that I like. However, as we go down this list, you'll see that most of these things I've already kind of talked myself out of, but I, I've, they're still on my mental list for some reason. So let's just start <laughs> with the first question. So it is the oldest product on your wish list. Now this was hard for me to determine, but I pretty, quickly thought of the Kaleidos palettes, the first original three. I'm gonna make sure and put them up here somewhere. They are so beautiful and I do have one of them, the Electro Turquoise, that a wonderful dear friend bought for me and it confirmed for me the quality. I love using that palette and I would still like to get those original three palettes. They've been out for a couple years now, I think. All right, you may have heard I had a barking puppy, <laughs> so I had to take care of that. I gave her a little chew to chew on, so I'm sorry if you hear some crunching. She's here next to me chewing on her chew. <laughs> okay, so that was the first thing though. The product that probably the oldest thing, the thing I've wanted the very longest. The second question is the newest product on your wish list. And this would definitely, definitely be the new lip glosses from Maybelline. They are, now I'm trying to remember what they're called. I'll make sure and put it here on the screen, but I'll of course put a picture up. They're supposed to be kind of like a lip gloss that is really smoothing and not necessarily plumping, but they just, they, the, the way they describe the gloss immediately sold it to me. And honestly, they don't have to describe gloss very much at all to sell it to me because I like gloss. <laughs> so the third question is an item that you keep forgetting about. Now, I actually had a hard time with this. So I'm gonna talk about maybe a brand. There is a brand called Glossier, I'm sure most of you have heard of it, that I kind of forget exists. Now there's a lot of their makeup that I'm not drawn to. I feel like to do the no makeup look, I can just do, not wear makeup or use the affordable stuff that I have. <laughs> but I've always been drawn to their cloud paint blushes and I always forget to even go look at them. That's just it. It's like that, they're on my mental wish list, but I haven't even gone to look at the shades really. But I know that those are definitely something that I would enjoy. Number four is a product that you're glad you removed from your wish list. So, so this is a palette that I have been wanting or had been wanting for months and months and months, probably as long as I wanted those Kaleidos palettes. And that would be the Melt Gemini palette. I am so happy that I didn't cave and get it. There's been a lot of problems with people's, even though the same people who have had problems with their palettes, you know, they still really love the color scheme and Melt has been really good about, you know, replacing them or giving them a gift card or whatnot. I am over it actually. <laughs> I feel very proud to say that. I'm happy that I didn't spend the money to get one. Number five is a wish list item that you can't get by you. Now this is another one I had to think about for a while and then it came to me. So both Jamie French and Arna Elaine, who is an Australian YouTuber, have talked about this Korean blush. I'm gonna have to look this one up too, just because it's not on Yes Style anymore. And that was the problem with it. I think it's called something like a cheap cheek pop blush or something of that nature. But as soon as I went to go get it on Yes Style, Yes Style stopped carrying it. And I don't think it's on Amazon either. So I have no idea where I can get it. I'm gonna make sure and put the actual name of it down here so you guys can see. But both of them loved it and I love the way it looked on them. It just looked so pretty and getting more into cream blushes lately. I'm sorry if you can hear some traffic noises outside, but um, that hurt because it was an affordable blush and I, I can't find it anywhere. Number six, a product on your wish list you'll probably never buy. There's a lot actually that fit into this category. <laughs> a lot. But I think I can say anything by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm pretty drawn to like her lipsticks. Uh, I just pretty positive I'll never actually buy one. 
I did buy some Wayne Goss lipsticks a little ways back, but I think Charlotte's lipsticks are even more expensive. I probably won't do it. Number seven is a wish list item you'll probably buy next. So a lot of times I'll actually have something in mind to buy next and then something else will go on sale and I immediately like that's what I buy next. But I've been thinking for quite a while about those Essence. Oh my goodness, I can't think of anything today. They're single shadows. And I saw in a comment on a YouTube video that someone said that they they were comparing them to the hourglass scattered light shadows. Why can't I think of what they're called? Melted chrome or something? Once again, I'll put it here, but they have them in several shades and they're only $4.99 each. I love the price point of Essence. And if I can get the effect of an hourglass shadow for that price, that that's exciting to me. So that one's definitely next, I think. Number eight is a wish list item you added from watching YouTube. That's everything. <laughs> Literally everything on my wish list is because someone else has told me about how amazing it is on YouTube. So I thought I would just pick one. It is a compact powder from number seven. Jessica Braun, I mean, I guess I've actually heard it in several places how good this powder is, both from Arna Elaine and Jessica Braun, I think. Talk about how it is a perfect dupe for, I think it's the Charlotte Tilbury powder. In fact, I think Jessica liked it even better for her under eyes. So, and I think it's something like 11 or $12. I don't get really super excited about powder. <laughs> But I think it sounds interesting. I probably will try it at some point. Number nine is the most affordable wish list item. <laughs> okay, so um, probably actually eyebrow products from e.l.f. I have heard all about them. I feel like people talk about how good they are, the gel and the eyebrow pencil and everything, and I've never tried anything from them. And I think they're only a few dollars. So definitely very affordable. Number 10 is the most expensive expensive wish list item. This was actually hard for me to narrow down as well. There's a lot of stuff the instant I see the price of it, it's technically not even really on my wish list. It goes directly into the category of things that I admire, but no, I will never buy. <laughs> so I just picked one that uh, is still something that I look at and appreciate for its beauty, but no, I will never ever purchase it because of its price. That would be the Makeup Geek big giant collection of their new single shadows, specifically the neutral one. And once again, I'll put a picture up here. It is so lovely. And a lot of the tones are kind of grungy looking. And um, even though they're really pigmented, a lot of the tones have kind of that muted quality to them, which I think is so pretty and I know I love Makeup Geek shadows and um, I've just seen lots of videos on this particular thing so even though I'll never ever buy it I continue to watch videos <laughs> on this particular palette because I'm pretty sure it's over a hundred dollars in fact I'm positive it's over a hundred dollars so no never will purchase but will admire Okay, so that was my wish list tag. Once again, if you guys decide to do this, let me know down below. I'd love to check out your video or Instagram post. Thanks again to Mandy Lee and Sarah Hubler for putting together this tag and inviting others to join in. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.